Hey, welcome back to Dante's Kitchen. I'm Max. Today I'm going to show you our orange soaked watermelon with prosciutto and feta cheese appetizer. It's wonderful, easy to make, everyone's going to love it, so let's get right into it. Alright, so simple ingredients. We got a quart of orange juice, we got a watermelon, we have about an ounce of feta cheese, we got some microgreens, and if you don't have microgreens at um, a grocery store, don't worry, fret not. There's cilantro, there's chives, there's scallions that you can replace it. We got a half a cup of olive oil, we got a half a cup of chives, and four slices of prosciutto. So the first thing you want to do before you even start cutting the watermelon is get a pot of water, salted water boiling, get your oven at 350 degrees because you're going to be cooking off the prosciutto. So right now what we're about to do is block the watermelon and soak it in our orange juice. Alright, so first things first, what you want to do, just like an onion, is cut the top of the watermelon off, cut the bottom off, like so, flip it over, get this out of the way, and I'll start trimming the edges. You want to make sure that you get all that white flesh off of the watermelon. That's obviously, you know, not flavorful at all. Alright, so we got that. So, our biggest goal is to block the watermelon. And don't worry about the trimmings. You probably are going to be eating it while making this appetizer, so you're not really going to be making a waste. Let's go like that. So, what I like to do is make sure that there is at least an inch of a width of a cut for that, as you can see. And by doing this, you're making nice uniform slices. And then now on these slices right here, you're going to start blocking it. And let me get that out of the way. This flesh right here. Make sure it as square as possible. And just keep stacking. So the next step is basically just taking your watermelon slabs, placing them in the container of the orange juice, and make sure that it's completely submerged so it gets the amount of flavor. Um, and you just want to really just soak this for about 15 minutes. Alright, so we have our salted water boiling right now. All you want to do while the watermelon is soaking is just place the chives in the water and you just really want to blanch it off for a good 30-45 seconds until it gets a little soft. You don't want to overcook the chives. Alright, so the chives are ready. It took about 45 seconds for the chives to get super soft. You just want to push it through that strainer, make sure that the water is off of the chives because we are going to be blending this with olive oil to give that olive oil a nice color. So you basically blanch off chives for one reason and that's preventing it from bruising and browning and oxidizing. Uh, if you did not, it would have probably by the next day that chive oil would have looked a lot browner than usual. So this prevents it from actually happening, maintains that bright green in your chive oil and that's what you want to bring out your dish when you plate. Pour in the half cup of olive oil and then the chives. Okay, it's blended. All you want to do now is pour through a strainer. Make sure that all the greens have been extracted from and you just get that olive oil. So, we have almost everything done. We have our chivo settling down. We have our watermelon soaked, almost finished. It's about two minutes left. We don't want to leave it in for too much longer because orange juice is acidic. You don't want it to break down. You still want that watermelon to have a good bite, have that freshness, have that crispness. Once it's ready to go and it hit that 15 minutes, just make sure you strain it, make sure you pat it down with a towel because it's got all that orange juice inside the watermelon ready to go. This is one of many ways that we can actually plate this dish. You can actually make smaller cuts, squares, if you have a lot of people over and you can toothpick it. But this is something very presentable that you can impress your friends, your family, whomever. It's going to taste great. So I'm going to place the watermelon in the center. Got the chive oil, got a spoon, and you can make a smear, you can just do some drops. I'll just make a way around it. Look at that color. It's beautiful. It really brings out everything. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and do the feta cheese and you want to try and center it just on the watermelon. Some maybe cascading off and then pour in the center and then we have our prosciutto here and you can place it like that. I got a couple strips on top and then the last thing that you need to do is just put your garnish on. I myself have the microgreens and just place it all around and that is your dish. So I hope you enjoyed making this dish as much as I did. Thank you for watching Dante's Kitchen and I will catch you on the next episode.